In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create a book trailer video in Doodly. They are a video advertisement telling potential readers about the contents and themes of the book in order to entice them into buying it for themselves or as a gift. We'll go over how to create your own book trailer video from start to finish in Doodly. It'll cover scripting, storyboarding, and animating your video so that you can share it with the world. Let's get started. First, you'll need to decide on a theme for your book trailer. Will it be a short story, a poem, an expose? Will you use characters, book covers, create a little story for it? What's your approach going to be? From there, start creating your script. Write out everything you want in the video, descriptions of characters and scenery, dialogue, and so on. Your approach for a novel will likely be a lot different than for a nonfiction book, like a cookbook. Next, create your storyboard, which is like a comic style version of your script. This will help you visualize the video as well as make sure everything that you want in it is included. And you'll do this long before you start dragging and dropping characters and props into your doodly video. Now, you don't have to be an artist to create a storyboard, nor do you have to make it super complicated. I just like to use it to get the ideas down. In our example, we're going to make it a nonfiction book. It's going to be 101 animated video techniques. And I'm going to use a mock-up of the book cover. I will have some narration as well. And it's just basically going to be, hey, this book is great this is what you're going to learn, blah, blah, blah. If you're going to use music or sound effects, this is an ideal time to write down what you're going to use in your storyboard. It can also help set the tone for your trailer and give you an idea of how to do the animation. Once that's finished, it's time to get started building each scene in Doodly. So here's an example of the script that I created for my book trailer and the storyboard. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it very simple. Before we get started, I'm going to keep this opening scene. It's on the cover of our book and it just makes sense to keep it. Now I wanted to show you the shadow effect. It's really simple. It's two copies of the same text, one in a dark gray and the other in the bright red. And I just put the top layer just slightly offset so that I have a shadow. First, I'm gonna add the narration track I have pre-recorded it, so I'm going over here to the Sounds tab. I'm going to click the blue plus sign, and I'm going to browse for my file. It's going to appear right up here, and then I'm going to drag it into my narration track. And it's about 50 seconds long. I have created a 3D book cover, so I'm going to go ahead and upload it. I'm on my Props tab, and a sign and a browse for my file. Now book covers you can have made on Fiverr or any of those freelance marketplaces and there are also software book cover creators that you can use to do it for you. And since I'm going to have a bullet list I'm going to go with the simple one and let's put it off to the side like so. You can make it a little larger. Then over here, I'll have the bullet list, okay? So, pick a font. And I'm just going to type in the different bullet points. Inverted pyramid structure. Okay, I now have my bullet points and I just need to arrange them on the screen so they look nice and then we'll deal with the timing. I like to go ahead and type them all out at once before I deal with the sizing, because that way I can size them all at the same time by control clicking and I can move them. It just makes it nice and easy to get a good size that's consistent across them all. And I'm gonna change this one to red. Now we're going to do our last scene where we have the book cover and some happy characters and a call to action. So I'm going back to props and let's use this set of book covers because it implies that you can also get it for your mobile devices. Don't even need to say that it's available for mobile devices because the image says it all. Let's go back to our characters. We had Philip and Mary and we want them to look happy. Here's one. 
And let's go find Mary. And I like her, she looks like a little bookworm. And then our call to action. Who knows if that domain is taken, but just know this is a dummy domain that I'm just making up. So hopefully it's not somebody's domain. I have my scenes made. Now we just have to get the order of everything that they're drawn on and the timing. So let's go take a look. I want these to be already drawn on. I certainly don't need these characters to be drawn on too long. And the cat, for sure, he can be like one second. And the book can be like one second. This, I'm gonna want to just come on super fast. And that's fine, I'm gonna add a little bit of time at the end, so scene settings, and let's make it one and a half seconds. So it'll say, this book will teach you everything. And then we're gonna swipe over to this scene. And I would like my book to come on uh, three seconds, let's try, let's try two seconds. And by default, it will scribble on like so. I'm gonna change that. Let's just take a look at it real quick. Preview. So see how it scribbles on? I prefer the fade effect. So click the pencil icon, go over here to reveal mode and choose fade. Save and return. And if we preview it now, it just fades on. Okay, so I like the timing inverted comes on just right, but it writes too fast, so I'm gonna slow that down. And it's okay if she if it finishes writing and she's still talking, that's fine. Um, we'll probably need to put a little delay before this one comes on, so let's go for two seconds. And then I need to add a little bit of a delay before the next one comes on, so let's say four seconds. And this is just a matter of playing with it, listening to it, adding time, taking away time, and so on. This needs to come over. <laughs> I already know plus is gonna just need to come on about a second. Maybe let's do 0.8. I think 0.8 is about as slow as it goes. And then let's just add half a second there. And then we're gonna go to our final scene. And finally, let's add a music track. And we can just drag and drop our music into it. Now, if you've been following these videos for any length of time, you probably know that I like to turn the music down dramatically. So just what I'm gonna do is click on the speaker icon and turn it down to like 9%. And it's just because these music tracks seem to come in really hot. I'm not sure why, but they do. And they drown out the voice. Or maybe my voice isn't loud enough. I don't know. But that's what I do. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So let's go ahead and preview the video and then we'll be done. Most people are unaware of advanced whiteboard video techniques and how they can be applied in their own videos. This book will teach you everything, including my text slides designed with an inverted pyramid structure are still relevant. 25 different techniques you can use to make your animations more interesting. 22 plus animated video tips and tricks, and more. It also includes a section on how to make videos that convert. Buy this book and prepare to learn 101 animated video techniques. Plus, you'll get step-by-step -step instructions on how to apply them in your own videos. And that's the basics of how to create a book trailer video in Doodly.